Hello and welcome to two hours of bot killing money making guide. Now we all know that there are a lot of bots at the Green Dragons. Anyone who's been up there for Slayer has seen it. And it's really unfortunate because a lot of these people are gold farmers, which in my opinion is very harmful for the game. So what can we do about it? Well, we can kill them because as some people may not know, this is actually a very good money making guide. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how much you can actually make by killing these bots. Now in order to do this, you will either have to go to East Dragons or Central Dragons, which are just above the Graveyard of Shadows. I prefer Central because right now there are some stupid bots who will risk glory, and that's about 32,000 coins at the moment, which is pretty much the amount you can get a pure to risk anyway against you, which is pretty good. So I spent my whole two hours there. Now in order to kill them, all you really need is Teleblock, that is a must because these bots will tele on first attack, especially the ones with glory. So you're going to need teleblock 85 magic or 81 with a magic potion. And then just any kind of range or melee attack. I recommend range really to do this. Probably combat level anywhere from 60 to 100 you can do this. I'm 74 and I'm able to attack most of the bots up here. You will also run into PKers, which I kill when I get the opportunity. If you don't want to mess with the PKers though, that's perfectly fine. Just go and rag welfare gear and either log or telly when you see the PKers coming. Who knows, you might even run into me up there. I do spend a lot of time PKing here at Central Greens because I think it's a lot of fun. A couple tips though, if you're going to be doing this, definitely bring looting bag because the bots will drop a lot of hides and bones and you're going to want to pick those up to make full profit. A good bot kill might have 10 hides and 10 bones and a glory and you're definitely going to want to be able to pick that up. Also, I would recommend sipping a super anti-fire before you go up to the wilderness because it'll save you a spot not having to take the potion with you. And also, the anti-fire is really helpful in case you get scorched by one of these dragons or just to make yourself immune to dragon bolts from other PKers up here. In order to get started, all you really need is some cheap magic armor. Ghostly robes or Zamorakian robes will do just fine. And a crossbow, teleport block runes, as well as runes for entangle. That'll keep the bots from running, although they don't really have a very good escape plan. They just kind of run south and pause and eat. They're really pretty easy to get. Then just, I would take uh, the rest food and maybe some potions. Also, you're going to want to make sure you have a teleport out. I always use a glory myself, then you're going to use a games necklace to teleport up there, or a Corallinger teleport tab, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, you need desert treasure to use that one, some ancient magics. As a general rule, I stick to bots, skulls, and dragon killers with some sort of risk. I don't see any point in going after three itemers or low level dragon killers that are using a bone crossbow and bone, bone bolts. I also don't attack iron men intentionally at least. I, I don't see any point in that. I mean, you never get anything from them and it's and it's really mean. But I really enjoy finding Scald players like this guy up here, 14 levels higher with a tentacle. And I think I killed him earlier actually, but he was overheading against me and I was running low on food. So I just decided to spec him through his protect from melee with the DDS, got the kill. So this is pretty cool. 14 levels higher. I always like those kills. So at this point I was getting really close to my two hours and I went up for one last trip and ran into a team. RIP. That did not go well. So I went ahead and I went to go sell everything and after two hours of bot killing I only sold the stuff I got from bots. None of the stuff from actual PKs and I got just over 1 million coins from two hours of killing bots, that's 500k an hour with very minimal supply usage, just about 200 diamond bolts. So you can see this method is really quite profitable, so go up there and enjoy killing some bots. I hope you were able to find this video helpful, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.